Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today's video marks my first venture into the world of 8K bird videography, all shot with the awesome Sony A1. I may be a bit late to the game since this camera has been around for a couple of years, but there were some genuine reasons for my delay. Shooting in 8K immediately raises concerns about memory card speed and capacity, and this was a massive hurdle I had to overcome. Additionally, the sheer power required by my computer to handle and edit these high resolution files was another significant consideration. And finally, I had no benchmark to determine the storage requirements of 8K files from a Sony A1. How much space will they actually take on my hard drives? These three obstacles prevented me from shooting 8K video until now. But before we dive into my experiences, I want to express my deepest appreciation to the folks at XSend. They were kind enough to provide me with their cutting edge XSN 480 gigabyte essential series CF Express Type A memory card and a card reader, which turned out to be game changing for me. Their support made shooting in 8K a reality and I can't thank them enough. Now let's take a quick trip down memory lane and revisit the evolution of consumer DSLR and mirrorless video. Remember when 1080p was considered the pinnacle of video quality? Then we were astounded by the breathtaking visuals of 4K. And now we have the incredible opportunity to capture birds and wildlife in mind-blowing 8K. I'm excited to find out if 8K video truly lives up to the claims of superior detail, vivid colors, and immersive experiences. So let's dive right into my first 8K videos captured on the Sony A1 with the XSN Essential CF Express card. In this video, you're witnessing my very first 8K video shot at 30 frames per second with no editing. I wanted to see the raw footage straight out of the camera. Like I said, my initial and biggest concern was the memory card itself. Luckily, the XSend 480GB Essential Series CF Express Type A memory card performed flawlessly. While I was out shooting, I didn't have to worry about speed, buffering, drop frames, or running out of storage space. It seamlessly handled the demands of 8K video from the Sony A1, allowing me to focus on what matters most, keeping up with those fast-moving birds and wildlife. However, I encountered an unexpected challenge when it came to capturing small birds in 8K. As you know, these agile creatures move at lightning speeds, making it very challenging to capture video of them. By the time I spotted a bird, framed it, and hit that record button, I often had just a few seconds if I was lucky. Usually when shooting small birds, I use 4K at 120 frames per second. This allows me to slow down the footage during post-production. So a 10 second 4K 120 frame video can be stretched to as much as 40 seconds. It's a significant adjustment when considering the amount of footage needed to create a video in 8K. The second challenge I faced with shooting 8K video was the editing process. Editing 8K footage is a whole different beast. It demands substantial computing power to handle the immense data in these files so that you can easily edit smoothly in post-production. Even with my fairly capable and new computer, I encountered issues when dealing with these files. I couldn't even reliably preview them. To tackle this problem, I had to use proxy files. By utilizing proxy files, I could maintain the same output resolution and quality of 8K while reducing the strain of my computer's resources it became a necessity, and without them, I wouldn't have been able to create this video at all. So there you have it, my first look and exploration into 8K bird and wildlife video shot with the Sony A1 and the XSN memory card. With the right memory card, favorable field conditions, and optimized post-production workflow, shooting in 8K is indeed possible. Before we wrap up, I want to express my sincere thanks to XSend for their incredible support. Their top-of-the-line memory card and card reader played a vital role in making this 8K adventure possible. If you're in need of a reliable and high-performance memory card, be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now I'd love to hear from you. Do you believe shooting in 8K is a necessity, or do you still find 4K to be acceptable and preferable for YouTube? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm pretty sure I'll be creating some more 8K bird and wildlife videos. Also, if you'd like to learn more about my bird photography, check out my Instagram channel where I detail the birding camera and lens I used along with the camera settings for each bird photo. Remember, it's your photography. Go shoot it.